Okay, you got tickets to the Giants and Jets. Who you going with, Ruel? <laughs> I'm like, no, girl, Ruel. He ain't worthy of this. This is for you. This is the biggest game of the... It's you, babe. And I did this for you. And she's looking at me. She's like, nah, you could take Ruel. <laughs> and I'm mad. I'm furious. I'm like, take Ruel. Ruel don't even know nothing about no sports. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Well, I'm mad. I don't take her. She doesn't appreciate me. She doesn't love me. And I can't believe I'm mad now. So dinner time or whatever, we're not talking to one another. The house is all angry and we upset. Why are you upset? Because I can't understand. I did all this for you. You wouldn't. But the problem with what I'm doing is I'm trying to show her I love her by giving her something that is of worth to me. If I stop and I say, babe, what do you want? And she said, I want tickets to go see Broadway play. And I'm like, Broadway play? So I'm like, and you know what I say? Even though it's not what I want, it's what she wants. So I'm going to sacrifice myself and go with her. Martha... She thought that by doing all this great stuff, this would please the master. Never once did she find out that the master really wants you to just sit at his feet. And the sister caught it. So the sister sat and he, she listened and she was being taught by Jesus. So when you're working, and you, because you, you, you as a believer, you can even get like that. Listen to me. This morning you can get like that. You can, you can become somebody who does the Lord's work so much. I'm running to do this for Jesus. I'm running to do this for Jesus. I'm running to do this for Jesus. And never once do you stop to get any type of devotion and love to him, to hear him. And then what happens is when you start to chase so many other things, you become burnt out and angry and mad. And then you want people to be like you. And she wanted her sister to be like her. Come and do the work. And the sister says, I am not you. I have found that the best way to please Jesus it's not by running around and showing how many million things I could do. It's to sit at his feet because what happens is this. When genuine love and devotion is present, automatically good works will follow. And Martha missed it that day. And I pray as believers, we don't miss it. You want to show how much you love Jesus? It's not by how much... Jesus, you don't see me. I anoint my desk every day for you at the job. Why am I still going through this? Change them. Mm -hmm. Or I was like, you do that for me or you do that for you? And whenever you saw Mary in the Bible, she was always found at his feet. Feet, meaning she was always learning from him. Amen. Always being poured into. Let's not give God a gift that is important to us and expect him to be blessed with something that we're giving. But let's ask him, Lord, what is it you want from my life? That's what I want to give you. You want me to get rid of some friends? They're gone for you, Lord. Lord, you want me to do service in the church? That's what you're asking? It's yours, Lord. Lord, you want me to wake up an hour early and read? You got it, Lord. Lord, you want me to spend more time in prayer? You got it. You could be so caught up in the work of the Lord that you forget the Lord of the work. Let's, let's not be like that. Let's not, let's not be like Martha and wanting to show love but forgot why we were working in the first place. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you.